Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Mukhakodash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. This is your brother Yaikwa, out of the command of Great Millstone Atlanta Church. I want to do a lesson in regarding why did the heathen rage? And this is inspired by a news clip in which I saw, I believe it was from um, World is One, which is a, a East Indian based news company, a, a, a Hindustan or Elamite based news company, um, which they they put out some pretty good information. They go off, of course, they're heathens and they still have a gag order to a certain extent by the elite, so they do go off, you know. But a lot of points that they make geopolitically are pretty sound. Um, but they were speaking in regarding China seeking to have a new space program and China, China seeking to um, essentially lay claim to the moon and um claim the moon for the moon for the for their own and this is the pride of these Edens. <clears throat> this is the pride of these heathens you guys are going into slavery within the next couple of months you chinese you moabites you're going into slavery in a, in, a, in a few months, but you're worried about trying to lay claim and hold to the moon. <coughs> <coughs> and um, bib biblical prophecy speaks against your um, your gestures and your actions. You're going to be confounded. This is the book of Psalms, chapter two, verse. Verse one, why do the heathen rage? Which when you go to that term heathen, now the term heathen in Hebrew you, uh, is gawayim. Now that term gawayim could mean Israelite foreigners, it's Gentiles, it can mean the actual lineage Gentiles, and it can mean, well, heathens, which is the same thing as the actual lineage Gentile. But in this context, it's talking about the bloodline heathens right it says why do the heathen rage it says and the people imagine a vain thing so their imagination that their houses shall continue forever their imaginations that they're going to be able to establish an empire within the next couple of months and years um and have dominion on 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 the planet earth and not even on the planet earth that's talking about having dominion on the moon this is a vain thing that the Chinese have imagined. It says the kings of the earth set themselves, which um, I believe his name is Chiping. Chiping, if I'm not mistaken, the the um, leader of China. He's a he's um he's a delirious. He's he's been caught in um. He's basically insane to think that he he could ever achieve something of this magnitude with you. How is Shah about to return? It says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. And they're doing this joint program with Russia, by the way. And they're trying to get some um, um, different Asian nations to be a part of this um, space program that they're concocting. <laughs> It's, um, it says, and it says, the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed saying. So this is their counsel against our God, Yahweh, and us. It says, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. And that's what, <laughs> that's what they think they're going to be able to do. 
And then they're going to be able to compromise the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel will not be able to fulfill the blessings and the promises and the covenant that our, that our God made with us, which is to rule the earth and to have them in slavery. That they, that's what they think. See, but verse five says, I mean, verse four says, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Woo. Let's get that term derision in the Hebrew. Which is um, in this context is yalag, yalag, which coming from the root word laag, or laag. Pardon me, laag, which means ma, deride, ridicule, ma, deride, have derision, to stammer. See, stammer. All right, the Lord's gonna have you guys stammering. He's going to have you in derision. Verse 5, it says, Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. And that's when he destroys them with concentrated fire. And he's going to also destroy because in the bag of the Lord is the thermonuclear missiles. That's in his bag. He controls those missiles. They shoot when he say so. And he's going to use those. And See, that's the armory of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. The, the Sidon, the Satan missile, the Satan 2, the East Wind missile. That's in his armory. It says, um... Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree, and that the king is Yahweh, by the way. It says, Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son, see, the son of God. It says, This day have I begotten thee. And that's why he's called the only begotten son, which only begotten means he's the first fruit. He's the firstborn because all of, the, all of the the man of the nation of Israel are the sons of God, starting with the elect, which is the is the chief of the first fruit of the nation. Yahweh is the firstborn. Verse 8, it says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. So the Lord is going to give you Chinese who and you other heathens as slaves. Yeah, yo, you guys are, you you guys have a you have a wild, colorful imagination. That's what it is, and you deceive yourself with your your fictitious imagination to think that you could step in the presence of His Majesty. It says, in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So, yeah, we're going to inherit all of the land of China. Oh, yeah, that's going to be all of ours. All right. All of the land mass of China. And it's not going to be a desert. But a large part of China is a desert right now because those guys, they don't know what to do with it. It's just big cities and, and fog from air pollution and over consumption of coal. They don't know what they're doing with it. So we'll take we'll take it over and we'll um we'll utilize it properly. Verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That's what's going to happen to the Chinese. That's what's going to happen to you Moabites. This is Psalms chapter 60, verse 8. 
I'll start at verse 7. <clears throat> Gilead is mine. Which Gilead is speaking of the, the, um, the tribe of Manasseh. And Manasseh is mine. It says, Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Yehowada or Judah is my lawgiver. He's talking about Yehowah Shai. Verse 8, it says, um, Moab is my wash pot. See? Scripture said Moab is my wash pot. You guys... You guys have an imagination to think that you're going to be able to rule and conquer the moon. You're on such a low level, you peasant. And you Chinese are slaves, man. You're on such a low level that you're thinking it's a big deal to have dominion over the moon. The, man, the elect little nation of Israel, we're going, to, we're going to rule different planets and different galaxies. You guys are very feeble-minded, man. You're on a low level, and we're going to show you how it's done. When how we shall return, but the pride and arrogance of these and the arrogance of these devils will kind of get you upset, man. And, and they look down on us. They look down. They look at us like we some fucking slaves. Well, but you about to be a slave. And you can think that we just talking, son. But see, that's because the Lord, the heavens, isn't dealing with you. You are a heathen. You don't understand the Bible. You don't understand prophecy. You're just a heathen. So you, you don't get it. But you're going to get it. You're, you're, you're a coming man. That's why you don't get it when we say these things. Like, what are these guys? Who the hell are these guys? They ought to talk to us like this. Well, we're your future masters. We're the sons of God. We're the Israelites. And you are a child of incest, Moab. Your name is Moabba, meaning from my father. And it was because you come from the lot. You and the Japanese. The Japanese are your brother nation. You guys come from lot. Which is Abraham's nephew. And you were birthed after the after, after the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and his and his daughters had sex with their father because they thought that the entire world was destroyed, because five major cities were destroyed by fire, and they didn't know anything outside of those five major cities, and so they got their father drunk, and they had sex with him, and they, and they created the Chinese and the, and the Japanese. No, it says Moab is my wash pot. I, I, I want to get that term, that term wash pot. Sayar. Pot. Cauldron. Wash pot. Which essentially, they're going to be, um, they're going to be doing laborers work for us. Wash pot represents like cooking, it represents cleaning, you know, things of that nature. All right. And your woman will be concubines. And they're gonna do an excellent job. And we're gonna have way more than one one child. These Moabites talking about you can only have one child. You can only have two child in each in each household. What type of low-level degenerate stuff is that, man? And you guys are supposed to rule the earth? Having one or two children? Get the hell out of here. Look at it, now your population is in the shambles. You got too many men. Because you don't know, you don't have, you, you, you are not the person that should be in authority. And we're going to have way more than one or two women with the Moabite woman. We're going to have thousands of women, I mean, um, we're going to have hundreds of children with a Moabite woman. Thousands. Millions. Ain't no goddamn one or two child. But these guys, are, but we're supposed to follow these guys. 
please. It says, Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. And Edom is you so-called white people. Not, not just because you have white skin. No, we're not carnal like that. But those who descend from Edom, Esau, which it just so happens the majority of you so-called white people descend from Esau, Edom. What? It's the truth. Don't get don't get upset. It's the truth. It says it says Philistia, triumph thou because of me. <coughs> All right. Let me see here. And the, what the Moabites have done is they follow the so-called white man. They're, see, they're not even you Moabites. You're not even original, man. You follow what these elite bankers tell you to do. This communism. Where did communism come from? Is that a Moabite philosophy? No, that that came from the Russians. That came from the elite. It really came from the elite bankers. So why should we follow you guys? You guys are followers, man. You guys are not original. Look at this. Look at the Chinese president. Look at all these Chinese wearing suits. Why are you not wearing your ancient Chinese garments? Hmm? These guys are followers, man. They, they follow the philosophies of, of Esau Edom. says um for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication meaning all the nations have followed the philosophies of america of nato and the eu infrastructure even china all right they follow that with their capitalism and their um their, their wardrobes their ideology with um population control that comes from esau Moab following Esau. You see? It says, And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, the Chinese. It says, And the merchants of the earth have are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Are not the Chinese, have they not waxed rich because of trade with America? Is that not talking about you? Verse four, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come up out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues, which the heavenly father is going to deliver us from America before the nuclear destruction. It says, for her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities. I'm going to go to that down to verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her. It's talking about when they when America is going to be. Matter of fact, let me go, let me go to verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord. God who judges her. So, China, what do you think is going to happen to your economy when America is destroyed? Your biggest trading partner? You're going to fall. You're going down. Verse, verse 9, it says, In the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her. The Chinese are going to be bewailing America. It says, And lament <coughs> for her when they see the smoke of her burning. <clears throat> standing afar off 
for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over, over her. That's talking about the Chinese. It's talking about other nations too, but the, the largest merchants on the earth uh, and the largest trading partners with America are the Chinese. Um, it says, weep and mourn over her, for no man buy of their merchandise anymore. See, nobody's going to buy your merchandise anymore. And you're going to collapse right with America. And we're going to come in and um, set up shop. We're going to conquer. The nation of Israel is going to conquer. You're not going to be next, China. I'm telling you that now. You guys are not next. You're going to fall with America. The Israelites are up next. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashem Machakwadash. Matter of fact, I'm going to get one more scripture. I'm going to go to the book of Daniel. Let's go to Daniel. Because in biblical prophecy, there are certain kingdoms that are to, to reign periodically before the kingdom of heaven. You had the Assyrian Empire. You had the Babylonian Empire. You had the uh, Medio persian Empire. You had the Greek, um, the Hellenistic Empire, the Greek Empire. Um, you had the Roman Empire. And now fast forward where the deadly wound was healed, according to biblical prophecy, which is the revival of the Roman Empire through the NATO and EU. And it's prophesied that Russia should lead the charge to take them down. But after the NATO and EU is destroyed, the, the Ten Toes is destroyed, it's the, um, the nation of Israel is the next kingdom to rule. So not China. Let's go down to the point. See, let me see. See, when you're in verse 7, it speaks of the four beasts, or it speaks of the fourth beast, which the fourth beast is speaking of the Roman Empire. It says, um, strong, I'm skipping down, strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth representing the military might. It says, it devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it, which is speaking of 70 AD. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before, and it had 10 horns. And how was it diverse? Because they ruled through a senate. They didn't rule through monarchies like the other empires before, and the other dynasties before. And the 10 horns are a representation of the original EU um, nations. Well, they used to be called the um, European Economic Community, I believe. All right. And then verse 8, it says, And I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, which that little horn represents America. And that's a representation of um, NATO. Because America is not a part of the EU, but they're part of NATO. And um, America is the nation that holds the military might. So that's the iron teeth of the uh, modern carnation of Rome, Amer America's military force. It says, Now consider the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. And it's a little horn because it started off with the colonies. Uh, once at, at, in the ancient world, well, not the ancient world, but during post Renaissance periods when America was established, they was not they were not as strong as the British Empire. It wasn't as strong as the French Empire. They wasn't as strong as the uh, Portuguese and the, the Spanish Empire. They were, they were um, small at first. It says, "Before whom there were three 
of the first horns plucked up by the roots, which America plucked up um, Britain, they plucked up Spain, and they plucked up the French out of this landmass. It says, <clears throat> And behold, in this horn were the eyes like the eyes of man, because they were given wisdom. It says, In the mouth speaking great things. And this is what they speak blasphemy against heaven father they push madness on this earth all right let's see and i'm gonna skip down Let me skip down to verse 11. And I beheld then because the voice of the great words which the horn spake, beheld even till the beast was slain because they're going to be destroyed. It says, and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame because America is going to be destroyed by fire. It says, as concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season in time. So like the Persians, the Iranians, right? They not they're not the Medio Persian Empire anymore. It's not the Achaemenid dynasty, but um, that they still have influence. They still have their own set of their their dominion is they don't have dominion over the earth, but they still are around, you know. So that's an example of that regard. Verse thirteen, and I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven. And came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory in a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which should not pass away, and his kingdom that which should not be destroyed. See? So there's no rulership for the Chinese. This is the Chinese time to do what they're going to do but when your shot returns they're going to be they're going to be destroyed with america all right so then we give all praises and the glory and worship to your house by shimmy out shy by shimmy kakodash the bonus the elders apostles of great millstone say taste to you i can shalom keep the faith